We have a rule for taking the limit of ra a rational function. We can just plug the limit in. But that rule doesn't work if plugging the limit in gives you a division by zero error. Let's handle that case. So we have a rational function and we want to take the limit as x approaches c of this rational function. But we can't plug C in because Q of C equals zero. How do we find such a limit? Well, we'll look at two cases. Case one, suppose that P of C is anything other than zero. Then this limit does not exist. Case two. Suppose that P of C also equals zero. So at C, the numerator and the denominator are both zero. Here's our trick. Factor the numerator, factor the denominator. In this case, you will always be able to cancel common terms. And once you've canceled your term, Try again, just sticking C in. That second case will probably be clarified by an example. Let's say we're trying to take the limit of this rational function. We can take the limit of a rational function ordinarily just by plugging this number in. But if we try that here, the numerator and the denominator both turn to zero. So what do we do? Now, according to this, if that happens, we should factor both the numerator and denominator. So let's see, x plus three times x minus two and x minus five times x minus two. And you see cancellation occurs. These x minus twos eliminate each other. And now we'll try again. We're taking the limit of a rational function. We should be able to take such a limit just by plugging two in. 
as long as that doesn't give us a division by zero error. And this time, it doesn't give us a division by zero error. So we have found our limit. 